Hello everybody, it's your boy Pearl, and I'm back with another video. So today's video is going to be on an Iranian official quoted by the Nauer News Agency warned the United States and the United Kingdom not to threaten Iran. It says, any move against the interest and national security of Iran will face a tough and firm response, and Washington and London will be directly responsible for its consequences. So... We all know that they're talking about the United States, Israel, and the United Kingdom after Israel is threatening to hit Iran back after they hit the Mercer uh, ship two days ago in the Gulf of Oman. So, um, it says the al Qabas newspaper announced on Monday, which was today, that Iran has transferred the Russian S-300 air defense system to the Bushir province in the south of the country as a preparation for any possible airstrikes against the sensitive sites. So basically, Iran is getting all their weapons, S-300 missiles, and they're taking them, taking them to this nuclear site to, where they can be protected away from Israel in case Israel tries to strike them with a bomb, missile, or, you know, any attack. Um, it says, the United States incoming Israeli National Security Advisor, Dr. Eyal Hulada. Uh, the Iran, the IRGC Aerospace Force will start a two-day long ballistic missile exercise as a show of force to Israel and Sinman. It is happening due to the fear of Iran's Islamic regime over retaliatory, retaliatory, or, re, retaliatory attack of Israel in response to IRGC's Navy attack at Mount Mercer Street, Orla. So, let me be honest here. If Israel hits Iran, it's going to be all-out war. That's why Israel is taking a long time with this. They're really trying to be calculated, and they're really not trying to hit Iran as to where it can start an all-out war. We know that Israel is a smart, smart country, and is very tactical military wise they're good they're a good country they know their military and they know their war israel knows how to win wars and israel is being very very methodical and careful right now they're planning of to, when they're going to do this and they're planning it really smart uh, i'm surprised they haven't went to the united nations yet to tell them what's happening uh, that being the United States, Britain, and Israel. Because we want to know if Iran is really behind this attack. And they say they have the, you know, the facts to prove it, right? But they're not, they haven't took it to the United Nations yet. And usually they take it to the United Nations. Remember in 2003, uh, we, we said we was going to hit Iraq, and we did it. We talked to the United Nations in 03, George Bush, after 9-11. So, it has happened. Um, I think Israel will hit Iran. We all know that Israel fights back. They're going to hit them back. They're going to hit them back hard and with everything they possibly can. The question is, is this going to start a big war, War Three? Is this going to start a big war? Will China and Russia help Iran? Because, as we all know, Iran is getting a new president this Friday, August the 5th. Ibrahim Wahisi, a new hardliner. Rouhani is leaving. So, they're going to have a tougher president coming in. And a close friend of the Supreme Leader, Khamenei. Khamenei. So, and Qatar has condemned the attack on the ship in Oman Bay. And Qatar has said... It completely rejects actions that would interfere with the security of international maritime transport. Just imagine if this was an Israel person that died. Keep in mind, it was two people that died. A British and a Romanian. And by the way, Romania is also getting involved in this too. They haven't said anything yet, but they have rejected Iran's attack. But there's not, there hasn't been any military... Uh, you know, Romania is a small country in Europe, right? Um, beautiful country. Romania, that's what that's one of the countries I actually want to visit one day, God willing. That's such a beautiful country. So much trees. 
They got the Transylvania Castle looking like Dracula's Castle up there. You should see it. But anyway, that's the news I have for y'all tonight. Um, I miss y'all. I'm going to start making more videos every day if I can. Uh, yeah, it's your bar Pyrotanic. Make sure to like, subscribe, comment. I'm out.